We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you guys, today, we are doing a video that you guys requested, and um, now we're here, about to do it. So, the video we're doing today is my top five most anticipated horror films of 2023. Um, this is gonna be very interesting. Um, you know, uh, I know five sounds like, hey man, it sound, it's actually very, very hard to be honest. You know, these things switch along the way. You know, maybe a promotional trailer come out with some of these films that have changed our mind, a full limb trailer, who knows? As of now, right now, this is how I feel, what I'm looking forward to uh, this year. So definitely, you guys, if you haven't, definitely smash the like button. It definitely helps. Let's get started. So I'm gonna do five, my top five, and um, two honorable mentions. So my honorable mentions will go first and i want to do these uh first i know you guys are going to be like man what the hell but hey man this is how i feel so first i'm going to have to go knock at the cabin guys yes i'm going to have to go knock at the cabin um this film is you know it seems very interesting you know it's basically it seems like a family is vacationing from the trailer i've seen you got um dave batista in it with along with um the guy who plays Ron and Harry Potter, they're coming in, they're saying you gotta sacrifice a family member um to stop the like apocalypse. And it's like very crazy. You got this this little this little um girl in a situation between this, and it looks like it's gonna get very crazy. Um to kind of give you guys, you know, some thought on it, saying basically, you know, um some armed strangers who demanded they make an unthinkable choice to avert the apocalypse, confused, scared, with limited access. To the outside world, the family must decide what they believe before all is lost. So that's pretty much what the film, you know, will basically start off being about um, with the synopsis just kind of pulled out to us. And I'm all excited, you know, it's an honorable mention. Why not? So next, you guys, um, is Saw 10. Now, this movie, I'm not too, you know, I like Saw's. You know, the first few Saw's were very good. Then after that, it kind of took a wild turn. You know, a lot of stuff happened. Um, I don't know too much about, you know, what's going on. I know that Tobin Bell is going to be in here. I want to say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that this is going to be like a prequel. Um, and it sounds, you know, interesting. You know, it's all, I, I enjoy Spiral. Chris Rock did a phenomenal job. Um, but yeah, I, I want to see what it is and see what, what, what route they're going to take. But I want to say from my understanding, it's going to be a prequel. So those are my two honorable mentions, you guys. Knock at the Cabin and Saw 10. So, yeah. All right, guys. My number five, we want to go all the way down to the, my first, is Evil Dead Rise. Now, you guys, Evil Dead Rise, um, it looks like it's going to be a great film with the trailer that we've seen. Now, we don't have any Bruce Campbell, no Ash in here, but they're definitely giving a lot of hat tips to this character and just, you know, the franchise in general. Uh, you know, it's a fresh new star, and from my understanding, you know, um, the, the, the freaking director, he used, like, so many pints of blood, you know, because it was like a record or something like that. They had the break. I'm just excited. I love the scene where she gets up, um, she gets up in the tub and she's like, you know, mommy's with the maggots now. She jumps out. It's like wow. Even though I feel like they kind of show too much in this trailer, um, that could have been a great jump scare in the theater. But I'm excited to see Evil Dead Rise. You're in an apartment building, no more cabin. So I'm very, very excited. I saw the scene with the chainsaw. It just got me hyped. So number five for me is Evil Dead Rise, you guys. Number four is Insidious Five. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the name. I want to say it's going to be a different name, but I'm going to say Insidious 5 for now because that's what they're showing us. But, man, we got it directed by the man Patrick Wilson. Um, big fan of him. I cannot wait. I'm a big Insidious fan. I've watched all of them numerous of times. Um, you know, this is kind of a continuation from the, um, the first couple of stories, the kids in college and everything now. Um, and they're kind of just continuing it. I love paranormal films, guys. Seriously. Uh, Insidious is like, you know, up there for me. I, I really am excited. Hopefully we get the lipstick demon in here. He's very fucking creepy. Um, I'm excited. You know, Land Shade, they, you know, they do, they do great jobs with these Insidious films. And to see Patrick Wilson, um, uh, basically getting like, you know, the wheel and his hand of control, and I'm excited to see it. So number four for me is Insidious 5. I'm so excited to, you know, cover it on a channel, and I'll keep you guys up to date. So number three, you guys, is David Gordon Green's The Exorcist. Now, I love The Exorcist, guys. You gotta love Linda Blair, you know, Reagan. Now, I don't know what's their plans with this, 
pretty much i just know they're, they're trying to plan to do a trilogy now i know a lot of people are kind of feeling like i don't know you know about them just basically um doing an exercise after halloween ends i personally i got faith in them man I, I i seriously got faith in them um maybe they'll just give us the movie we need and i i really do kind of feel like you know exorcist is one of those movies you can't touch you know because it's so gold and and everything but all i know is that david gore green is basically you know saying that he's going to nail it and i can't wait you know chris nelson's on the job from my understanding and they're saying that it's a sequel um from the 1973 film from a 12 year old girl who was possessed by a mysterious demonic entity forcing her mother to seek help you know of two priests to save her so it's going to be the sequel actually it's going to be the sequel to um the 1973 um exorcist film so that's going to be very exciting i want to see you know their take on it. so they're basically doing the same steps they did with halloween ends taking off you know from the original and trying to create a sequel so i'm excited number two you guys are going to be shocked man the nun two Man, like I said, you guys, I love paranormal movies, man. Um, the Nun 2, I'm excited. I know a lot of people didn't enjoy the first one. Personally, I did. It was very much creepy. You got to see Bonnie Aarons had a maxed out, you know, acting it, you know, acting experience. She is freaking unbelievable when she's valid, bro. Like, that character scares the shit out of me, um, let alone I have her right here. But I just love Valak, man. She's a very great actress. Um you know, on The Conjuring. Well, not even Valerie, just Bonnie Aaron. She's a very great actress. Um, she does a great job at, you know, turning her neck certain ways to creep you out. And The Nun has a great story, man. If you go back and watch it, it all connects to the original and the coming of age and everything. So I cannot wait to see what they do, you know, and, and see how they take place with this film. Because The Nun, you know, is connected to one of my favorite you know horror paranormal franchises which is the conjuring i love annabelle and you know um the conjuring and stuff like that so yeah man i'm super excited to see what they do with the nun um i remember last year it was freaking in not last year um was the when they released the conjuring three the devil made me do it that was insane some of those jump scares you know i kind of wish that valak was in it but they didn't put her in it because you know they just didn't but i actually also heard they were possibly doing a conjuring four so i'm excited if you know once the conjuring four news comes out a little bit more you know i'm going to be very excited and when, you know it's it's, it's lately bro 10 2022 has been making us horror fans so happy we've been getting some awesome films and i'm all for it man and i'm all for it you know we getting you know some conjure coming back some insidious we got the nun too uh the people started you know bring back originals with their own interpretation on it i can't wait for the exorcist man let's go 2023 be good to us uh like you know megan kicked down the door if you know i haven't seen megan yet that would have been probably my number one most anticipated series like megan i i've been looking forward to that film since last year that would have definitely been my number one most anticipated because you know um i just was it, it was interesting the ai doll you know that you know just kind of converts to being evil and everything she looks creepy but i've seen it megan still a town of 10 for me i love it i want to see more of her definitely my number one you guys scream six i'm excited for scream six man like you know i wasn't too excited for scream five i just don't know why i just wasn't but with six i'm actually excited after that you know that teaser we got in there on the uh the train and you got melissa barrera and jenna ortega and it's just like the, the lights are flashing through the tunnels you see mandy and you see ghostface looking you got all these different characters with these costumes on and you're in the big city you're in new york city and like i said man i'm gonna stick to this if i don't see ghostface get hit by a taxi chasing one of his victims by times square through those busy streets i'm gonna be upset if i don't see him corner anyone in one of those dark alleys with the graffiti on the walls next to a dumpster i'm gonna be upset if i don't see him chase someone down the stairs in the subway station and they're like this and he just gives them a big kick and you see those drapes fly up and they get hit by a train i'm gonna be upset because why this is a film that is in the big city this is in new york city you guys Ghostface, you have the chance to overcome Jason Voorhees. I feel like they didn't utilize enough with Jason. You know, he's on a boat half of the damn movie. He didn't get to walk the streets really until you get the, you know, the scene kicks the boom box. Yeah, that's cool. Ghostface, you got the opportunity to turn the hell up in New York City, Times Square. I want to see you hack those big screens on Times Square. Ask someone, what's your favorite scary movie? I'm excited. I cannot wait. Um, I'm really just looking forward to this film. Ghostface in New York City. Holy shit. We even see, a, you know, a, a freaking a scene you know, from a picture we see on, a, um, you know, social media. 
He has a fucking shotgun in a bodega. Like, I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. They're up in Ghostface. This is what we need, though. We need him to be brutal. You know, it's 2023. I can't wait. Um... My favorite character in the screen on um, franchise right now since Sydney pulled out. She was my favorite since she, you know, she pulled out. She still is my favorite, but I'm talking about that's upcoming in this film. Jenna Ortega, she's going to kill it. I feel like you got to love Tara. But yeah, you guys, my number one was Scream 6. Comment down below, what's your top five most anticipated films for 2023? Man, that was a crazy lineup. That was a crazy lineup. I had the nine uh, Scream, Exorcist. Man, I can't wait to see these films. So, unfortunately, this is the end of the video, you guys. Comment down below your favorite. But, um, yeah, you all, I need you guys to definitely hit me up on my social media. that I like Scream on Instagram, I like Scary 77 on TikTok, Brandon on Facebook, and I like Scary on Twitter. And, yeah, you guys, check out the Patreon exclusive content and benefits of the channel. And right there where it says subscribe next to it, click join and become a member of the channel. And, yeah, you guys, watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.